Hello, Boris. How are you? Fine, teacher. How was your weekend? Uh, well, um, I visit my relatives. My brothers came from the United States. I uh, stayed with, with him on Sunday. Okay. And on Saturday, I... Uh, I stay at home. <laughs> okay. All right. Short weekend. Um, indeed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why uh, I feel that the time is so speed. No, the time. The, the expression in English is time flies. Ah, oh, time flies. Yeah. Okay. Time flies, yeah. Hey, there's Allison. Hello, teacher. Hi, Allison. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for asking. How was your weekend? Uh, I was sick. <laughs> what happened? Uh, um, I have a stomach ache, and also yesterday I started to uh a flu. <laughs> I I I have flu. I had flu yesterday and um, on Thursday, no sé cómo se dice vomitar. Throw up. I throw up. Oh, man. And yeah, that, those days was were awful, sorry. I could imagine. Yes. Did you did you work today? Uh yes. I worked. Okay, good. What about you, Jose Isaias? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um well my weekend was really cool. I go out, I went out with my friends. We played soccer. And we it's a pupusa. All right, good. Normal, a, a good, healthy weekend. Yes. Did you work? Today, yes. What I like about your work is that you do your own time, correct? Yes, it's correct. What time do you usually start to work? Can you imagine Allison and Boris? Jose Saez is a very lucky man because he's a he's a lawyer and um notary, right? He lives in Cabañas. Yes. He works at no. home. In La Palma. In La Palma, I'm sorry. He works in La Palma. He works at home. There's no traffic in La Palma. No. And La Palma is not hot. No. Perfect life. Almost. Almost. Yeah. I mean, that's the perfect life. Where's your office? In your house? Yes, near my house. Oh, it's near your house. So you can go walking? Uh, yes. Uh, a few to step up. <laughs> oh man, don't ever come to San Salvador. You have the perfect life. Yeah. <laughs> Many friends told me that. Yeah, I, I imagine. All right, Dennis, how are you? How's your weekend, sir? Hey, teacher. Uh, well, I I didn't have anything uh out of the normal. Let's see. Well, I just stay at home. Uh, 
I've been working at home actually in my grave in my backyard. I've been doing like a path, a concrete path. So I ha I have grass and it was uh, dying because of the steps when we go out and okay. I am doing a path, a concrete path. I, I saw a few images uh, at internet. So I, I am trying to reply that. So I've been working at home. I, I like to be at home. I, I love my home. So I like to stay quiet, enjoying here. I just make, uh, at night I made, uh, how do you say? Carne asada, I made that. Barbecue. A barbecue, yeah. At night, I made a barbecue, so I was very quiet. With your family? Yeah, of course, with my wife and my three children. Oh, yes, you have three. How old are your children? Uh, the oldest one has four years and a half. No, the oldest and one is. The oldest one is four years and a half the middle is three years actually at the end of this month is gonna turn three years and the baby has one year and a half the baby is, is... one year and a half wow yeah, and... the baby is one year and a half and what do you have boys girls yeah two girls the oldest one and the baby and the middle is the boy Wait, wait, so who's the, who's the boy, the middle one? The middle one, yeah. So okay. the oldest and the baby uh, are the, the girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about your wife? Who does she pamper? The boy? I'm sorry, what do you mean? Pamper? Pamper, in este caso, is mimar. Oh. Like, you know, like, your wife, who does she pamper more? The boy? I think the boy, you know, I, I always uh, tell tell the boy that. How do you say this in English? Well, yo le yo le siempre le digo, está bien mimado, le digo, tu tu mamá te tiene bien mimado, le digo, stuff like yeah. that. Just yeah. kidding with him, because and that is true. So the 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 the, the girls. Uh, they they always like to stay with me the oldest one she always stay with me actually my 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 room where i work and and i take the class is always closed because she always wants to be with me so when i am when i am off for example yesterday she comes to my room and she start playing at the computer so oh, cool. she always try to do whatever i do she always try to reply it so if i am working outside uh, you know, at uh, the backyard, she takes one tool or anything and she tries to reply what I am doing. And she asks, ask, ask a lot of questions. Actually, she starts speaking like, let's see, at uh, two years, uh, she was very fluency. And, the, wow. and it, it didn't happen with the boy. It didn't happen with the boy. Actually, he's going to turn three. And he doesn't speak fluency. He has sentences, but only like two or three words. I want water or what is this or stuff like that. But the girl, the oldest one, she started speaking very early. She was very fluency. You know, I don't you, know what. But I, I recommend you to take him to speech therapy. You because, think so? Yes, because my son was like that too. Um. I, I did a mistake uh, with my son. My son has a speech impediment. Uh -huh. I mean, he, he can speak. He speaks. The only thing is he can't pronounce, for example, S H. So sometimes we don't understand what he's trying to say, and he's seven. Oh, really? And uh, but he but he speaks long sentences. Mm -hmm. But you know, we did a mistake that we waited too long. I mean, it's still time. It's still good now, but that's what the therapist told us that usually sometimes when kids don't want to speak, there's always a reason why. But the longer you take, the worse, because I don't know if my son is suffering bullying right now. You know, oh, which is I am. Not, 
So you know, no, so, go ahead. So at the end, I I would just recommend you, you know, go speak with a therapist. See, you know, if 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 he continues like that, if he doesn't want to speak, you should um ask ask her or him what should he do. But don't yeah, wait. Actually, long. you yeah yeah that's right. Actually, you are not the first person that told me that. Uh, the the pe pediatrician told me that if the boy turned two and a half years and he doesn't make long sentences, well, actually two years, two years. He, she told me if he turned two years and he doesn't make any sentence, short sentence, like I want water or stuff like that, mm -hmm. take him to a therapist. Yeah. But he did it. It was like 30 months or, or less. And he started making short sentences. But at this time that he's three, he's gonna turn three years old. I think that yeah, that I, I am I'm going to take him to a to a therapist because actually that is another thing what you mentioned that I am afraid that he's gonna be suffering bullying. Mm -hmm. Because it is very different with with her sister, her older sister, because she she speak very well and she do things that boys older older boys make so she likes to play with with boys that for example his cousin that is six years old he likes mm -hmm. to play with him and she she can follow whatever he do, he does she can follow him so it's very different with the boy so yeah. i've been wondering what's going on why so well every kid is different uh, is, but... it, yeah, you know, yes, that, and, yeah. And, and also there is a saying that uh, boys take more time to talk than girls. Yeah, I oh. heard that too. Mm -hmm. Be because they are they are lazier. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It's a saying, a popular saying. Yeah, it's a saying. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, one thing I learned that every kid is different, but when there's something that you feel is not right yet, mm -hmm. then yes, I think that's the time that you should talk to a specialist. And what about the specialist that you are taking your song with? So uh, where is she located? She's located by uh, Cicimiles. Do you know the Cicimiles? I can yeah, send you the info. For yeah, please, please. Is that expensive? Um, it depends because um it's it's a really good place. I recommend you because you know, like in my case, my son, I think he also needed um psychologist. Okay. But um you know, it and depends how many classes you take and the packet that you get. So I guess prices vary. Yeah, please send me the info. She's very and, good. They're very good. Yeah, it, yes. it's something that I'm gonna do because I think that it's important. It's time yes. to. Yeah, it's very important for him. Right. Yeah, send yeah. me send me the info whenever you can, and of course I will appreciate that. Thank you. All right, cool, nice, no problem. Hello, Claudia. How are you? How's how is your merry life now? <laughs> Hi. Uh, it is okay. I can't so, complain. So you're living with your boyfriend and your father, correct? And the dog and the cat. Okay, cool. <laughs> he and has what, a cat. And and so. you guys are going to get married, correct? Yeah. When? Uh, in December. Oh, so you're going to get married or you will get married? I, I am going to get married. Okay. Do you have a date, a place? We also we only have the date and it's December 10th. Okay, so then you will get married. Because you have a date compromised. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Hey, good for you. Congratulations. Thank you. December 10th. Hey, you should start. Are, are you going to have a party, a, a, an event, or just something normal?
something normal. I mean, like, because, you know, it's a yeah, because idea. remember December, everything, everything is reserved. Yes, it's only a Christmas dinner. parties. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Hey, can I, have you seen Barbie yet? Has anyone seen Barbie? No yet. Me, no. You know, I was so surprised. I went to Metro Centro on Friday. And I saw the the um the fever of Barbie. But what really shocked me was that I think it was 50-50 because 50% 50 were men. And um in my book, in my book, <laughs> if you're going to wear a Barbie shirt, it's porque tenés dos semanas de andar con tu novia, man. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I have something to say. There's no other reason. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> when I was at the university, my uh, my classmates know the whole song of Barbie, and I and before that, I I didn't know the the chorus. No, yeah, you know, that's what I was surprised. And this is not homophobia or anything, but okay, you can tell some some were homosexual men, but some men look really normal. No, like, they like, they aren't almost uh, they aren't gays. They not, are straight yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're straight. I'm sorry, normal <laughs> is not the correct word because because you're gay does not mean that you're not normal. <laughs> sorry about that. I mean straight and gay people, yeah. But I was I was shocked, like wow. There was a lot of people happy about Barbie. What about Oppenheimer? Are you going to go see Oppenheimer? I want to watch that movie, but I don't go to, to the movie. So I got to wait until it is available at internet or any streaming platform. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to watch that movie. Does does somebody what does everybody know the story or who Oppenheimer is? Yeah, the person who created the atomic bomb. But do you know why he created it? Uh nope exactly, but I but I suppose that it's something really different that uh, that that I I don't know. <laughs> Like let, let me resume because um what happened was that this is what I remember, okay. Yeah. Um remember the World War II, the Nazis and all so? So yeah, there was sir. the the Nazis had this chemic or scientist. He was like, what was his name? Did you watch Breaking Bad? Heisenberg. Heisenberg, thank you. He was making like the ultra atomic bomb, the Nazis. So some people say that that bomb was planned for the United States. And the rumor got to Albert Einstein. So Albert, I you know, Albert Einstein, correct? Class? Yeah. So Albert Einstein did a research about his about the rumor, and he wrote a letter to the president of the United States. And he said, hey, look, they're making a bomb and I think it's real. The good thing is that the president of the United States believed him. So he says, oh, okay, let's make our bomb secretly. So then that's where Oppenheimer comes. So originally, Allison, he did not make the bomb to attack Japan. <laughs> that bomb was only for what? Um, it was only for in case. But what happened was that during that time, the um, Germany lost the war. So then the Nazis escaped, and and so the plan discontinued. And they did not finish the bomb. But United States had the bomb. So they were ready. 
So then they said, they were like, oh my God. So bueno, ahí tengámosla. So here comes Japan. I don't know why Japan attacks United States. They attack Pearl Harbor. And the president said, hey, we have the bomb. Let's use it. So then they went back. But, you know, many people say that. That's why I want to watch the movie, too, because many people say that the bomb saved lives. I, I know stupid. I know stupid. But wait, because it killed thousands and thousands of people. Correct. But what happened was that when they when the United States threw the bomb. Japan didn't stop. They continued. So then the United States threw a second bomb. It was a little bit smaller. And that's when Japan said, whoa, no, we can't. No amo a poder contra ellos. So the war ended right there immediately. So that's why some people say that those bombs prevented more death. They caused many deaths. Yes. But, you know, I don't know. So it's going to be interesting. That's why I want to see the movie. Get you know, that point of view. This is what I remember from history. Sure. Mm -hmm. I remember that uh, Japan uh, has a, a battle in the ocean with the United States. And they um, sink it a lot of uh, ships. And I remember that after that, they decided to uh, uh, send a lot of uh, airplanes mm -hmm. to uh, in, well, uh, destroy Pearl Harbor. Yes. You know, you know, many people like in Salvador and many politicians, they always criticize the United States for the atomic bomb. Que tiran la bomba atomica, right? But really... They forget that they were attacked first, you know. That was a defense. So, yeah, I, I never understood. I, I want to know why Japan decided to attack the United States, number one. Why Japan thought they were going to win. I mean, what were you thinking? Oh, let's attack the most powerful country in the world. So, so many people said that that those okay, those bombs prevented more death because that would be the third world war. Because then you know the Germany, uh, Russia, Poland, and just finished. Okay, now the war comes to America. Now Japan is going to get their friends, United States, their friends, and a long, long war for many years and many deaths. So here comes the, um, the atomic bomb in solo. Boom. You want more? No. Okay. Bas. <laughs> they, they sign peace. So I don't know. It, it depends how you see the story. For me, it was bad. It was bad, of course. Imagine an atomic bomb on innocent people. But oh well. So it's going to be interesting. All right. So let's start. Lesson four. Let me share with you. Sure. No? Uh, only yeah. let me share share this. Uh, yes. Uh, I remember. Uh, I saw uh, a bit of uh, history in YouTube, and I remember that Oppenheimer mm -hmm. uh, was the fight to create the bomb with another uh, Germany man. That's his name. I remember it's Heisenberg, something like that. Um, it, in Germany, they have an accident with a uh, when when they uh, were uh, try to to create the bomb, and for that they lost the the career to to create the bomb first. Yes, I mean, but yeah, that that's what I was explaining at the beginning of the class that Heisenberg, the the Germans, they were making a nuclear bomb, and the rumors, Chambres, that they were going to attack the United States. And that's when Albert Einstein wrote the letter to the president. And he said, hey, the Germans are making a bomb and they will attack us. 
you know. So that's why United States said, o sea, suerte el presidente le creyó. You know, that's why he said, okay, let's make our bomb. And that's when Oppenheimer secretly started making the bomb. So I don't know. It's a very big controversy right there. Remember, también la teoría de Hugo Chavez that United States controls the earthquakes? Control what? Sorry. The earthquakes, terremotos. Oh. What? Yeah, he, he, he that said, could be possible. Yeah, you know, I mean, this man was crazy, but he gave some ideas that also it's it's not it's not impossible what he said was <laughs> it's not impossible. It's crazy, but it's it's not impossible. Because I remember the the, the earthquake in ID, ID, I think it was. And he said that the United States planned that. Or something. But that doesn't make sense for me. With what's the point? So they are a poor country. So there is nothing that the United States may want from AT. So no, that is the point because that's a good country to practice bombs because you have nothing oh. to lose. So then they were Fuck. practicing. Uh, so according to Chavez, they were practicing the bombs underwater. You see that that's what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, it's crazy what he's saying, but it's not impossible. I mean, it's yeah. it can't, it, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. No, and, and that that that's true. I agree because you know. I don't think that the United States is a country that deserve, uh, you know, how do you say admirar or admiration? So admire, admire. I I don't think so. So they, like you said, uh, they say, or there are a few people that say that the atomic bomb saved more lives than the ones that they killed. So the United States want to sell. An, an image pro about a peacemaker, you know, but I don't think so. So have you seen a lot of different wars that they have a start and a lot of different people that they have killed with only to keep the, the power, the control of things. I, I, I like I like what Bukele said to the United States when yeah. when the United States told Bukele we are when they said that they're very concerned about the human rights of El Salvador, que están they're worried, and to stop the regimen. And Bukele told them, "Hey, in your country, you kill the criminals because it's legal, la pena muerte. Yeah, you kill the criminals in your country, and the criminals you don't want, you deport them back to my country." And now here you're asking for their rights. You're crazy. You you have no argument. And that was true. It's true. Imagine, I mean, in the United States, in some states, it's illegal, it's legal, the death penalty. So he said, con que valor, con que valor, you know, me pueden, you know, you kill your criminals. We don't, I don't know, it was funny though. That that's like a uh, double moral. Yeah, double, double moral. moral. Mm -hmm. Double moral. Double moral. Yeah. So, yeah, and and it's true, and it 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 happens in in families. You know, it's like uh, like the brother or sister in the family that has more money. I want to control the family. I want to control your mom, your dad, everything, just because they have money. Just because they want to pay just because they support others and at the end they can do whatever they want but if you do something that is wrong yeah. so it, they are gonna punish you or stuff like that so it's stupid so it is i don't like the united states i don't like the i love the, i love the united states i just don't like their politics uh, the politics yeah yeah i 
I, I exactly that's that's the thing. I don't know no, the United Donald, States. I Donald haven't Trump, been there. Donald Trump really, really, he wasn't that bad. Now, now I see that he wasn't really, really, really that bad. But uh, the social media crushed him. Okay, listen, class. Yeah. We have future perfect. Hmm. Remember present perfect, correct? What is present perfect? Do you remember the definition? Oh, I'm sorry. Future perfect continuous. Bueno, pasemos future perfect. Do you remember present present perfect? Can you give me an example, a sentence? Like I've been studying. I have studied. No, that's continue. I have studied. Yeah, the other one was continue. Okay, I have studied. I have studied English for a long time. Okay. Uh, Claudia, Maria, where do you work? I work at Inversión Brico. How long have you worked there? I have been no, there. No, I have worked. I have worked. Okay, I have I been have there. Work. Mm -hmm. I have worked. I have worked. There things uh, oh for three years. I have worked there for three years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the explanation of present perfect? Me? Yeah. Uh, an action that began in the past and continued in the present. Okay, very good. Yeah. So I have worked there three years. The action started three years ago and still continuing to now, correct? So very good. That is the definition of present perfect, an action that started in the past, continues to the present. So what do you think future perfect is? It's the same. It would be an action that will start in the future and finish in the future. Yes, for example, Dennis, imagine your daughter when she goes to, her, uh, to the university. Uh, that's the future, correct? When she goes to the university. Yes, sir. But the university she wants to go to is $10,000 a year for four years. So how much money will you have paid when she finishes? You said $10,000 10, $10, per year, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when my daughter finish studying at the university, I will have paid $40,000. Good. That's future perfect, yes. You see, there's two actions there. How much he paid and his daughter finished high um, university. If she passes clean, Dennis. <laughs> exactly. All right, so that's to get the idea. Let's see. Let's see the video. Hello, in this class we will show you when and how to use Future Perfect and Future Perfect Continuous. Future Perfect and Future Perfect Continuous. Use the Future Perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. By this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration of an activity in progress at a particular point in the future. By the end of next year, you will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. They express the completion or duration of an action or event at some point in the future. They can be used 
to talk about an event or action that started in the past but will not be completed until the future. The future perfect. The future perfect is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect. For example, by this time next year, I will have graduated from school. The future perfect continuous is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect continuous. Example, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. Common time phrases for these sentences. After, by then, before, when, by the time, by tomorrow, by eight o'clock, this year, this month, this week, next year, next month, next week, for five hours, for 10 years, for a few days, for six months, since morning, since Friday, since 1996. Use these time expressions to write sentences using either future perfect or future perfect continuous. Number one, before this class ends. Number two, in two years time. Number three, by the end of the week. Allison, where do you live? Me. Yes. I live in San Juan Pico. San Juan de Pico. But I remember that you told me that you're from San Salvador, right? Mm, I live there for one year. But originally, where are you from? From San Vicente. Okay. How long have you lived in? When when did you move to San Juan de Pico? Uh, I moved here on 2021. 2021. Do you remember the month? Uh, August. Oh, so you, okay. Yeah, yeah, you completed the three years, right? Two years. Two years, yes. Okay, because imagine if you would say, oh, in December. So I could, you could say, you know, uh, by this, on December, I will have been living in San Juan de Pico for two years now yeah mm -hmm. on august 1st i will have been lived living here for two years <laughs> for two years yeah mm -hmm. all right uh for example claudia maria Yes. So by the time you get married, how long have you been living, will have been living with your husband? Um, we have. We will been have living. been living. We will have been living for four months. Okay, very good. Yeah. So by the time we get married. Yes, by the time we get married, we have, we will we, have been. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. We uh, have been living for four months. Yeah. So listen, so it's like this. By the time we get married, we will have been living together for four months. We will have been living. Together? Together for four months. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Jose Saias, how long have you been um, a lawyer? When, when did you finish uh, university? I finished my university in 2016. So in two years, No, in three years, you will have been practicing law for 10 years. 
correct? You finished in 2016. Correct. So in three years, you will have been practicing law for 10 years. Ah, yes, yes, yes. All right, cool. Boris, how long have you been a cop? Uh, a policeman? Oh, teacher. A lot of time. Um, I have been uh, working up, uh, as a policeman for 26 years. 26 years, wow. Twenty-six. That's, that's a long time. Who is your favorite policeman in the movies? Oh, okay. John uh, McClane. No, I like it. The a series that uh, passes uh, at the Channel Six that the name is Jump Strip. Oh yeah. Uh, you remember uh, that series? Uh, oh yeah. I remember the starring uh, by Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yes. Twenty One Jump Street. Twenty One Jump Street. Yeah. Did you see the episode when they come to El Salvador? No, I, I, I don't remember. Yes, there was an episode when um. Johnny Depp and his friend, they come to El Salvador. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, uh, they class, did here. Yeah, what happened? Okay, have you heard of the movie 21 Jump Street? I imagine the class you heard. There was a famous movie, 21 Jump Street. Well, in the yes, 80s, I, I... in the 80s, there was um, there was a a, ¿cómo se llama? a famous TV show that it was called 21 Jump Street. That's where um, Johnny Depp became famous. He was very, very young. They were undercover policemen. And they went to high schools as undercover students to, to get drugs, you know, the drug dealers. But in one episode, one one of them, el, el gordito, he falls in love with a with a Salvadorian girl, and oh. the Salva, you know, and then they start going out. But she told them that she was here illegally. Her and her little brother, or her son, I don't remember if it was her or her son, and he was going to ask her to marry him because he loved her so they she can live in the United States and la agarraron and they deported her. Pero en este tiempo era cuando El Salvador era equivalente a guerra, man. O sea, El Salvador creo que ha pasado tres etapas fuertes en los últimos tiempos. Internationally. Primero era, oh, where are you from, El Salvador? Oh, pero aquí hay guerra. Then the guerra finished. Where are you from? It's about oh the mareros, the gangsters. It's dangerous. Now I think it's the bukele. <laughs> no, those are the three major. So in that time, in that time, um, so when he went to look for her, he discovered that she was deported back to El Salvador, and he was sad. So Johnny Depp told them, "Hey, let's go to El Salvador and go look for her." So when he went to look for her, they killed her in la guerra. Oh, no te La violaron, la gata, todo lo peor que esa era la fama de los restaurantes. So, yeah, it was, I remember that episode. I remember that episode because I was very small. And say, hey, El Salvador is El Salvador. <laughs> yeah. What pain. <laughs> uh, Boris, do you have Claro Video? Claro? Claro video. No. Who's your internet with? Tigo? With Tigo. Oh, okay. 
Does anybody have Claro video? I do. Have you ever used it? Yes, actually, I do only have one box and the other TV, I have the application. You know, con esto de Netflix, you sabe el de mi hermana, but now you can't, you can't share, right? Entonces, me quedé, oh man, so I started using Claro Video now, and really is good. You can share Netflix now. You can? How? Yes. Netflix knows that every everybody stopped paying paying for the for the subscription here in El Salvador. Uh -huh. I did subscribe for that reason. And uh yes yeah, for one year. And now we are back and we share the the account. No, but I was using my account and my sisters in the United States. Mm. Uh, oh man, I was mm, I, that way. I don't, I don't know. Oh okay. <laughs> so I imagine it but, will happen again. But Allison, is there a notification about that? Did they send any notification? They did. I don't remember, but they sent us an email that now the one screen costs a uh, five dollars. No, but I remember they did send notifications like a year. They started sending, hey, hey, in the future, we will do this. We will do this. We will do this. Like they thing. start to do that. And they are implementing that in other countries this year, mm -hmm. uh, including the USA. But I'm not sure why, but I can share my my account with my parents and my husband's parents too. You can? Yes. No, okay. But what I was going to say is that I have had Claro cable and internet forever and I never used Claro video, so one day I started I started using it, you know. Wow. Ya me che the reason why I'm telling you, Boris, hay, una, hay un show que muy bueno se llama The Rookie. The Rookie. Do you know what a rookie is? No. It, rookie is novato. Okay. So it was funny because it was about this man. He was 40 years old and he decided to become a policeman. So he did all the training. He told se burlaban de él porque era el más viejo y era el novato. But he became a policeman, and um, you learn a lot about the police, hmm. about the training and todo, you know. Now okay. that you mentioned training, I just remember uh, that movie. Maybe you have seen it. Uh, it's from Denzel Washington, and it, this is... Training Day. Training Day. Training day. Have, have you watched that movie, Boris? That's good. Yes. <laughs> so, so I, I, I tried because I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have seen cases. Boris, not. I, I hope you don't take this personal, but I have seen that here in El Salvador, there are or used to be a lot of uh, corrupt policemen. No, 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 no. Yeah, not only in the police, all institutions. Yeah, 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 exactly. That used to happen. I was going to so... say that in every institution there's corruption. Exactly. Ah, bueno, esta, esta, um, esta training day mencionan El Salvador, pero ya en la segunda etapa de Maras. <laughs> ya no era the war. Uh, actually, Maras. actually, one one of the one of the girls that this it's man used to have. Actually, the only one, the only one, and and the actress is, is beautiful. I think that is Sara. I don't, Eva I don't know, but she. Eva Mendes. She 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 appears like like a Salvadorian. But you know you know you know what what is one big mistake in the movie? And Eva what? Mendes, que es Latina, she, she it was a very stupid mistake. Okay, in the movie she was Salvadorian, correct? Yeah. Y Eva Mendes is Latina. Yeah. So they, they don't use 
No, cuando le dice a él, I hope you like El Salvadorian food. Y no es El Salvadorian food, es Salvadorian food. Oh. You know, se lo paso al director que quizás no sabía porque él lo relacionan a El Salvador, El Salvadorian food. Como México, Mexican mm. food, you know. Pero Eva Méndez, siendo latina, como, eh, no, no es así, es comida salvadoreña. No es comida el salvadoreña. I don't know. Uh, en for Spanish, me, uh, like a, a patronímico. Exactly, yeah. But you know, I think every Latino in the world sabe que no es el salvadorian food, es salvadorian food. But she's American. She born... She born. Yeah, but she speaks Spanish. Yes. She speaks Spanish, you know. She. Yeah, the, I think their parents are Puerto from, Rican. from Cuba. <clears throat> yeah, she's a mix of something. But I don't know. That was a big mistake. <laughs> also, a little, a little, a little, little big mistake. Imagine I am an actor. Y, y le tengo que decir a alguien, hey, ella es la mexicano. No, I would correct the al director, a uh, gente que no es la mexicano. Why? Because in Spanish, you know, we say uh, the, there's sexes to if it's a if it's female, it's a ah, if it's a male, it's oh, oh, okay, good. So it's la mexicana. Oh, okay, good. Change the script. Oh. There's La Mexicana. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but that's a very good movie, man. I love that movie, Training Day. Yeah, yeah. really but good. Bo but Boris, if you if you have the option, the chance, you should watch that, that TV show, The Rookie. It's very good. The I got so addicted Funny? to that. El Novato. Okay. Uh, I take it. <laughs> No, pero es bien yuca porque el, los primeros episodios los ponen con... Es drama, comedy y todo, pero... Todo lo que tiene que pasar ahí para ser un policía, de verdad. Todo, it's, los castigos, todo, todo. It's, it's a very good... Show. You should watch it, Dennis, if you have... Um, it's, it's in Claro TV. También ahí vi a Tulsa King. Did you see that, that TV show, Tulsa King, with Sylvester Stallone? No. That's good. Yes, man. from Paramount. Yeah, from Paramount. Did you see that, Allison? Yes, on Paramount. Yeah, I like that. I like the Tulsa King was good. Yes. Um, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for the, season two. Season two. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, <laughs> I, man, I want to watch season two. What is that show show about? It's like Breaking Bad, it's but with a little comedy. Oh. It's not about drugs, but it's always about like uh, what? Uh, explain, Alice. It's a uh, old man that spent many years in on jail, and then it's out like, uh, out again, and their his company doesn't agree with that in New York, and they send him to Tulsa. But one very important thing that you forgot, Allison, this man was a mafia man. Yeah, that's my, that man That man is a mafia man. And mm -hmm. this man is gangster. Sylvester and Stallone? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sounds so good. So they, they send them to Tulsa, which is an abandoned town. And he has to uh, go it's do... It's a little the... town. Mm -hmm. And the, the most bad thing that... The, that happens there is a uh, um, a band that sell drugs and that's it so they send them there to do mafia things uh you know cobrar renta and you know and i don't know but it, but it's it has drama comedy action it's good all the characters are funny I mean, all the characters are. What, are what's the name? What's the name again? Tulsa King. 
Tulsa King. T Tulsa, that's the city where they send them. Okay, cool. How many episodes were there, Allison? Like eight, correct? I don't remember, but yeah, eight or six or ten, something like yeah, that. Yeah, but it's only one season, and they're very short, the episodes. So I can't wait for the next season. All right, so we understand present perfect continuous, yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, keep in mind that it's like in Spanish. We really, really don't use this. Yes, it's sometimes we use it, but it's not something very, very um, common. frequent uh -huh, or very common. For example, it's very, Claudia will never say, oh, by this time, no, by the time I get married, I will have been living with my boyfriend, with my husband for four months. Grammatically is correct, but that's really something she won't say only in a special occasion. Yes, even uh, in Spanish, if you're planning, if you're planning, uh, for example, a travel, you can say it uh, when uh, at this time tomorrow I will be, I will be. No, I will have been in the beach for three hours, for example. Yes. 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 Okay, that's a good thing, Allison. When it's something you really look you really like anticipate like for example when you go on vacation ah yeah cuando viene vacation las vacaciones anuales uy hay mara que hace tres meses antes empiezan a hablar uy by this time in three months I will be in the beach you know but like oh man the vacation is next week oh by this time I will have been sleeping all day. I will have been bathing in, I don't know, on the beach. Maybe in situations like that is when you really use this. But like I said, it's something not very, very common. But it's good for you to know anyway. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. It says instructions. Read the following sentences. Read the sentences about John's year abroad and have mistakes. Correct the mistakes using the future with will. The future perfect or the future perfect continuous. Remember to use capital letters and periods. So he'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will be more familiar with the city. So by this time tomorrow, June will have traveled for 24 hours. Here, let me show you the answers. By this time tomorrow, June will have been traveling for 24 hours. Miren, y el astronauta salvadoreño siempre está en el espacio. Or is he back? Well, the one that has um, ¿cómo se llama? Ruco, Rocco, Monica. Rubio. Rubio. Last name, I think, was Rubio. Yeah. Is he still in space? I don't know. I have no idea. I think okay. so. I don't exactly remember, but I think that that I wrote something that. He, wanted, he was going to stay there for more than 100 this is, this is what I don't understand about the news. I mean, how how the manipulation, because remember like three months ago, it was a very hot news. Rubio va al espacio, el primer salvadoreño, ahí va Rubio, Rubio, de repente, oh, oh, Rubio's having problems. Rubio can't come back. Rubio can't come back. Y hoy, saber qué le pasó a Rubio. Hmm. You know, like, maybe they manipulate the news or, like, the NASA doesn't want to give information or something. Because then he will have been in the space for one year now. Maybe. But a person cannot stay 
in a space for too long. Yeah, that I, I, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. Because the uh, humans lost a muscular weight. Oh, okay. That makes sense, maybe, yeah. Okay, by the end of next week, they will have been stalling his phone. They Then we can call him. By the end of next week, they will have installed his phone. Then we can call him. Number three, he'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will have been more familiar with the city. The answer is he'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will be more familiar with the city. After studying English for a few months, he will have felt more confident about speaking to people. After studying English for a few months, he will feel more confident about speaking to people. Number five, by this time next year, he probably will not have enough, I'm sorry, will not have been writing us many letters, but we will have continued to write him to him anyway. <laughs> So by this time next year, he probably will not have written us many letters, but we will continue to write to him anyway. Okay, so we'll continue this. We'll practice a little bit more about this tomorrow. Remember what I told you? Yes, it's important to know, but don't worry if you're a little confused because it's not something very common to speak like this. Okay. Only like when some a special event is coming. For example, Claudia, imagine it's November, I'm sorry, December 5th. And that's when Claudia is going to be counting every hour. Ooh, by this time next week, I will be a married woman. You know, in situations like that, yes, that's what that's that's when usually people use the future perfect or future. Okay. So thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank Good you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you, everybody. Bye-bye.